Hey guys, welcome to Ham Radio with K0PIR and my YouTube channel. The last article on my website was about using a cluster. And on the website, I've got a little post that goes into detail on how to set up a cluster and log for the old man. Now this will work with other logging programs, but I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do it, what the address is, and what you need to do to get connected. I've got a Raspberry Pi and it's running a DX Spider. And that DX Spider is connected to different nodes around the world. Actually, there's three or four. One in the U.S. and then two on uh, two other continents. And I think I've got a fourth one out there somewhere. I don't remember what continent uh, it is on. I'll have to go back and check it out through the configuration. I've had this DX Spider cluster running for years. And like I said, it's on a little Raspberry Pi computer, and it works great. I love it. So let me go, go in and uh, log for the old man. I'll show you how I have it set up. I'm going to go to Connect, and then the uh, Telnet cluster. It brings up a window, and I'm not connected right now. If I was connected to a, another server, I wouldn't be able to go in and edit anything. So if you're connected to something... Hit the disconnect so you can go in and make these changes. So we're going to add my server. And to do that, I'm just going to go down to new. And that brings up this field. And the name, we're going to put in k0pir-2. And the address is pi.k0pir.us. And the port, 7300. And then your call sign, you just put your call sign in there. I'm going to put somebody, I'm going to put our club call sign, W0PIR. And I'll show you what it looks like when we log in. No password, and then just hit save. So that puts it in the known servers list. If you want to find it real quick, just type in K0. You'll see it in there. And then click on the add puts it down in the active servers and it's the primary so I really don't need to add any more uh, I've got I'm connected to three or four nodes so I, this is all I need I'm gonna go up to connect and we'll see if it works takes it just a second and there you go it scrolls on by let me see if I can uh, go back and show you what it looks like there you go. Hello, Rich. This is K0PIR, and we're running a DX Spider, and here come the spots. Down at the bottom, you can see some comments in there. So that's what it looks like. Now, of course, uh, we don't use that. We could. If we went over to this tab, we could use that if I saw somebody in here. Uh, I could double-click on them, and it'd take me to that frequency. Take me to that frequency. Let me show you how I use it, though. I'm going to close this, and I'm still connected to it. I can look down here, and it shows me connected. This other one, this uh, I think it's a super cluster. I'm disconnected. I don't use that one. Uh, it takes up some resources, and there was another reason in there I wasn't using it. Can't think of it right now. But, uh, yeah, just the uh, just the Telnet cluster that I, I entered in, and we've got a few stations in there. I'm on 20 meters. Got my radio on. It's ICOM 7610. And let's try this. Uh, this is on the phone, so double click on that. Right now I'm using a inverted V. And it's a for 40 and 80 meters, so not real good on 20. I've got to work on my 20 meter antenna. I can hear somebody faintly in there. But I probably wouldn't be able to make a contact with him. Let me show you how I got this set up, though. If I'm bored on a Saturday or Sunday, I don't have anything to do. I can come in and just uh, get on, open up Log for the Old Man, get on the radio, and look for DX. Okay, I'll, let me show you how I got this set up. Usually, I'll set up CW and phone, and then the band that I'm on, and spot origin in North America. And I don't have the reliability threshold moved up. 
If I do, I might lose some of those. No, nope, that's still there. Yep, they're still there. So reliability is 43. 45, 43. Not real good. Let's try uh let's try this one on CW. Okay, well there he is. Can't really top him. Yeah, can't really top him enough to make a contact. But if I listen long enough, the band may change and I'd be able to hear him. Yeah, well, he's gone. I'm going to turn the volume down. So that's the way I use it. And let me show you what the uh, reliability is. Uh, I'll go over to the propagation and uh, let's see, LZ3ND, he's in there, and right now, uh, might be a pretty good time, let's see, 40%, not real good, if it was up to 80, 70 or 80, uh, it'd be much better, but you have to have a call sign in there, select the propagation button, the graph, and then the band I'm on, and circuit reliability. Now, tomorrow, the next day, I'm going to look to make a schedule with a friend of mine down in St. Charles, WA0AFD, and we're going to be on 40 meters uh, CW. So let me see what the propagation is going to look like on 40 meters. And, ooh, that's pretty good. That's real good. So if when I'm scheduled at that uh, QSO with him, I'm going to tell them 40 meters just about any time. Uh, let's stay around from, stay away from this time, but just about any time on 40 meters on CW, uh, it would be good. That's how this works. And you know, I can, uh, if I, I've got a friend, if I'm talking to him on the phone and they say, Hey, uh, let's, let's try, uh, let's try, uh, let's try 15 meters. Let's see if we can make a contact on 15. I can go over here to 15, and uh, let me, I'll just leave Bill in there. 15, a absolutely no chance. <laughs> no chance of pulling him up uh, on 15 meters, of getting him on 15 meters. I can look at it again. We'll go uh, back to 80. And yeah, you can see an early morning. Yeah, that's going to be great on 80. That's about the time that, that I get on. And then in the evening, I get on. And again, you have to have the call sign put in there. I'll show you what it looks like. Let's see, he's down in St. Louis. I uh, got another friend, KL7HRO. He's up in Alaska. Uh, let's see. There it is. Oh, well, yeah, I got a pretty good chance on 40. Or, excuse me, that's 20. I got a pretty good chance on 20. Pretty good chance right now. And I could talk to Dennis up there. So we'd either get on CW or get on FT8 and give it a try on FT8. And then if it works, we'd jump on the phone uh, portion of the band and see if uh, we'll see if we can make a contact. But anyway, that's the that's the way I use it. There's so much to log for the old man. It's it's really uh, hard to me to wrap my mind around it there's just so much i just i won't ever figure this thing out completely it's a a work in progress but if you have any comments or suggestions please make them below or on my website and that way it'll help others i hope you find this informative and useful and hey i'm trying to reach 10,000 subscribers so please uh, remember to like subscribe and share and also tell your friends if you tell one friend, they may tell another. And before you know it, I'll have 10,000 subscribers. And there are some benefits for YouTube channels that have 10,000 subscribers. And I'll mention that in another video. But I really appreciate uh, you following me and watching my videos. So take care. 73, good DX.